Okay, let's this thing on. All right, hello everyone. My name is Norman Jetson. I'm the new mechanic for the North Pole Pizzeria. Man, it feels like a nice full place in here. Apparently, um, I get my first task ever. My first task is to uh, let's see. take care and support the new animatronic that's coming tomorrow. Harmony the Husky. I feel like that name doesn't feel so bad after all. It feels like a very, very nice name. And I feel like that she is going to be very, very happy. I guess. I don't know. It's my first time. Um, so yeah. See you soon after my next log. Alright. Okay, I log number two. So, Harmony the Husky finally came into the restaurant. And boy, when I first saw her, she looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at her. She looks very, very particularly beautiful. I really love the skirt, though. Brings in much detail to it. Alright, so to test in Harmony the Husky... Testing her voice and her love program. Never knew she has one. All right, begin voice test number one. All right, begin voice test number two. All right, begin voice test number three. Okay, begin voice test number four. All right. And finally, begin voice test number five. All right. For the first love program, I'm going to do small talk with Harmony the Husky. Apparently, she doesn't answer mean things about her, but she does answer nice things about her. So, let's begin kindness number one. Hey, Harmony, you look very cute today. All right. Let's begin Kindness number two. Hey Harmony, I really love the skirt you're wearing. You look very pretty on it. Alright, and finally, begin kindness number three. Hey Harmony, I really love how you play the flute. Keep it up. Alright, let's begin the last love program. Loving Act. Okay, begin Loving Act number one. Alright, begin... Loving Act Number Two. Okay. Begin Loving Act Number Three. All right. And finally, Loving Act Number Four. Okay. In this final Loving Act, which is Loving Act Number Four, she wants me to give her a big hug, or what she calls it, giving her some sugar. I should really put my camera down for this. Welp, here goes nothing. Mm. Huh. I guess this doesn't feel bad at all. Actually, I think I'm starting to love this. It feels so warm and fuzzy. Well, apparently I think that sort of hugging thing would end in about three or thirty seconds, I guess. I don't know. Any second now. Okay, I finally test all her voices and her love program. I think that's it. I'm just gonna have to wait for a while for my next task. Well, see you in a while. <sighs> I log number five. Well, today is but a total crap hole because some fat kid thought would be funny to put his face against Harmony's chest. Cause it's puberty for God's sakes. Kids like over to twelve, I guess. I always think about women. Just women. And when that kid put his face against Harmony's chest, I think a bit too hard. 
he accidentally, more like purposely, tipped over Harmony, and look what that kid did to her. That kid broke her entire torso in half and busted her entire parts inside of her. How did this even happen? How could such a fat kid break an animatronic like that? I have no clue. I am so, so frustrated in this right now. That kid and his parents are going to pay right up. Like, it really did do a number on there. I mean, here, listen to this voice box. It sounds like a chalkboard now. Oh, God. I don't know what to do about this. I'll tell you more about this audio log thing tomorrow. The manager said that the mechanic will be back soon because that mechanic had like a family reunion. I guess, I don't know. I'm really frustrated. I don't know what to say. I'll come back later, I guess. Well, bye. And, and a audio log. God damn it. Oh, God. Audio log number six. I fell asleep at the North Pole Pizzeria by accident since I was getting so angry. Oh, God. I think I forgot my keys. I, I feel like I'm locked up. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just stick in for a while. Maybe test in. Army, I guess. I don't know. I'm very tired today. God. God, it's like two in the morning. Couldn't know how long I slept. God. Well, maybe it's about time to just forget about that and just do some of my work. Just check. I should really check my Marmigoski, I guess. Alright. I'm in the repair room. Okay. Okay. Since the mechanic is on its family reunion, I'm going to repair her myself. I should really start a fight. The clock, I guess. No, I think the voice box. Okay. Here's the force box. Really big thing, I guess. Oh god, I don't know what to say. I'm so tired. Alright, and wait. Where the hell did Harmony go? She was right there. Oh god. I think they're on to their free room setting. I guess. Harmony, Harmony, where are you, Harmony? Harmony, wait. Hello, who are you? Um, excuse me, sir. And why do you look like he's such? I don't even know what you even are. Hello? Hello? You know you're trespassing. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. The exit is right there. Can you even hear me? Do I have to make you leave? Hello? Wait a minute. Is that... Is that a... Knife. Oh no. No, 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 no. You are not going to. If you dare touch a single tip of me with that knife, 
I swear to God, I, I will tase the heck out of you. I have a taser in my hands, and I am not afraid to use it. I warned you. What? Why is the taser not working? No. No, 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 no. Wait. No. Stay back. Stay back. No, 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 no.